Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome back to Friday Night Sports. I'm Alif Azizan, your host. And today, usually when you go to the beach, what would you do? You take a bath, you play with sands, and sometimes you build sand castles. But when you go to the beach, you can't deny the fact that you will sometime play frisbee. And since we are on the topic of frisbee, let's get on with it. Okay, I will introduce to you guys these three lovely gentlemen. So, care to introduce yourself? Um, Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. Um, my name is Ahmad Nabil Helmi bin Ghazali. Ahmad Nabil Helmi. Uh, you can call me Nabil. Hi Nabil. Um, I'm first year, second sem student, mm -hmm. and I'm taking economics. Okay, what about okay. you? Uh, my name is Alif Haikal. Alif Haikal. You can, call, you can just call me Alif. Okay, hi Alif. I'm the assistant head of um, sports and recreation at school for the ICTS lineup. I see. And also the program manager for the ICT Reds Ultimate Fist B League. I see. Okay, hello. Uh, my name is Imal Lokman. Uh, I'm majoring in economic and this is my first year, second sem. So, um, since we are on the topic of frisbee, why do you guys pick frisbee as a sport? What do you guys see in frisbee that is, you know, fun and stuff? Oh. Um, the main reason why we choose to play frisbee is because uh, first, it is fun to play, mm -hmm. and second, um, in frisbee we have like a uh, spirit of the game, something that we call spirit of the game. So in the rules book, WFDF rules book, which stand, WFDF stands for uh, World uh, Flying Disc Federation. So the first things that mentioned inside the the books uh, is about spirit of the game. So basically, spirit of the game is where in in frisbee there will be no uh, like referee or there will be no uh, uh, what we call VR, VAR. So uh, we will deal uh, if there is any fall, if there is any violation, we will deal. Or uh, by ourselves. I see. Yeah, that's why it, it it at the same time it teach us how to uh, interact with people. How do you solve problems? How do you um, how do you engage people? And yeah, it's a nice sport to play. So Nabil, why do you why why frisbee in the first place? Why frisbee? Okay, yeah. so frisbee is a unique sport. What makes difference frisbee from other sport? Because we are we are the one in in the in the field that um, that establish the rule because mm. we we uh, the player itself need to know the rules itself. I see. Uh, so uh, any faults or um, co or any context, uh, we will settle it in the field. Uh, like other sports like football, if they contact, they will argue like ar ar argue in the field, and maybe out of the field they will fight also. So but frisbee. In the field, we settle it. Outside, we also friends. So everything is finished on the field. Yes, <laughs> I see. So Alif, yes, why frisbee? Well, it's like talking to myself. <coughs> Alif. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So at first place, uh, I know frisbee ever since uh, like two years ago mm -hmm. when I started to enter the IIM Gombak main campus. Mm -hmm. So oh yeah, where were you from? Before uh, UM Gombak? Uh, CFS. CFS. Uh, like other students, some, yeah, CFS, uh, PJ. So, there was this session with the SDC during the Tawe. Like, they opened for the sports slot. So, I saw these, like, groups, couples of groups mm -hmm. playing Frisbee games. But at that time, I don't really recognize and know the game. Mm -hmm. But until uh, further, further on, I uh, they introduced me, they teach me, and starting from there, I feel that frisbee is a really enjoyable game. Yeah. I see. Speaking up of frisbee, do you guys actually have, you know, competitive tournaments for it? Competitive tournaments? What, what do you um, mean? Of course, for football, you have the FIFA World Cup. And sometimes for badminton, you have the Thomas Cup. What about frisbee? What oh. kind of tournaments do you have? Do you actually have that competitive tournament? Oh. Yes, uh, we do have actually. Mm -hmm. um, well, Fris Ultimate Frisbee, the the known game, I mean, the actual name, the Ultimate Frisbee, is actually very well known in the some countries like the United States, um, and then some countries over the Europe, and while in this region, specifically in the Southeast Asia, Singapore is the actually the leading country 
mm. in this uh, game. Well, they actually rank five in this world. So they're actually that good. Yeah, really, really, really tough opponent. And we Malaysia, we just started to be one of the uh, participation national. So we try to be uh, as good as them to be among the top rank in so, the tournament. So who's the best team in the world? Should be United States, I guess. But yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think Japan is more better than US. I mm. see. So, uh, among the ranks in Southeast Asia, mm -mm. of course, Singapore is number one. Yeah. So, where would you place us? <laughs> Which number do you rank us? I would say five. Five? Because Southeast Asia is also, uh, not many countries really participated, ah, but see. they are about to come in, catch up with us, yeah. I see. All right. So, speaking up of, competitive tournaments. Yeah. I heard that there's a tournament. There's an upcoming tournament in UIA. Yeah, this weekend, mm -hmm. we are having this ICT Reds Ultimate Frisbee League, cool. which uh, we try to um, promote the Frisbee games among the IIM community um, and also to encourage them to have a healthy lifestyle. Mm. Yes. I see. So what do you think of this ICT Reds Ultimate Frisbee League? Um, uh, it is a good, good term uh, exposure for every IIM students because and uh, not every um uh, students in IIM and uh, know what is ultimate frisbee. So we um some of um IIM students they don't and uh, they don't get sweat in the evening. So frisbee is a good sport for them to earn and neither good girls or brothers, sister or brothers, they can. You can play uh, together? You can play together. <laughs> 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 no, 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 no. I'm, I'm just kidding. Halal. halal again. Halal again. <laughs> of course, halal. You need to be like at such a distance yeah. to catch yes. it. Okay. So, speaking of this tournament, right? Mm -hmm. uh, how many categories do you have for this tournament? Uh, we are doing two categories. Mm -hmm. We have to separate both. We cannot have mixed category. Oh. La, we oh. only have La. brother categories and sister categories. Mm -hmm. So, for each categories, we would like to have around 10 teams. 10 teams participating yes and the fees actually is around 5 ringgit per head so there would be around 50 ringgit per 50 team 50 ringgit per team yes so that so that's 10 people per team yeah and it's actually quite uh, i mean it's quite it is actually quite uh, cheap compared to other tournament around malaysia so it's a good opportunity itself for the i mean community to join this and I really encourage you guys to participate in this tournament. So you told us of how this tournament is relatively cheaper to its compatriots outside. Yes. So what's the standard fees for these kinds of tournaments? So it's actually, usually, <coughs> the standard price is around 50 ringgit per head. 50 ringgit per so head. So that, uh, that price is actually... 50. 10 times cheaper. <laughs> yeah. 50 or 40 ringgit. Wow. Uh, depends, per, per yeah. head? Yes, per head. Depends on the level of uh, the tournament. You, If it's national, then it should be yeah, really... Much more expensive. Mm -mm. Ah. <laughs> it Fish could be, it could be uh, rich uh, around 200, yeah. per, 200 head. per head. Per, per team. Per, per head. Per team. Yeah. Yeah. Fish is not a uh, well-known uh, sport in Malaysia, so there's uh, no sponsorship from... Ah, uh, so different from other sports like football, hockey, their fees is cheap. So um, frisbee, and uh, their, their fees is quite expensive. Quite high yeah. because you need to self fund yeah, yourself yeah. as well. Okay, um, so for this ICT Rex Ultimate Frisbee League, yeah. how many teams have participated? As for now, we received around six teams for the sisters. Six teams for the sisters. Yes, and also around eight. Teams for the brothers like as for, for now. The brothers. Yeah. Okay, for the brothers, probably not a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> for the sisters, six teams. This is this is actually a very good program. Yeah, it's actually a good sign of positive. Mm. I mean, they really enjoyed themselves playing this game. Last time we have Kusev, mm -hmm. um, which they try to I mean implement the game inside our community. So mm -hmm. for this time, we just have to promote and. Gain as much exposure as we can. Gain as much exposure. That's cool. Ah, mm -mm. uh, six teams. So, do you have... As for these people, these yeah. people who joined this league, are they 
professional players or amateurs? So I would say, <laughs> well, some of them are pro really professional. Ooh. Yeah, and some, I would say around above amateur. Above amateur. Yeah. So medium. Ah, uh, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Hmm. Are there you know? Are your friends joining too? Well, actually, yes. I forced them to join. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> of course, because you need to get, um, you know, yeah, the right yeah. number of participants. <clears throat> so since you have six groups, uh, six teams for the sisters and eight teams for the brothers, um, how many groups will you have? I mean, you know, eight teams, of course, you have two groups. But what um, about the sisters' teams? Actually, for this tournament, we are using the league system, mm -hmm. just like the, the last Kusa. Ah, Meaning every each team has to be uh, played against all of the team it's around Robin. Yeah, mm. yeah, surround Robin. All right. Thanks for those information. I learned a lot today. But we'll have to stop you for now, and we'll be right back after this commercial break. Thank you. Welcome back to Friday Night Sports with me, Ali Fazizan. So, just now, we talked about the ICT Rex Frisbee Ultimate League. Ultimate Frisbee, right? I got it wrong. <laughs> okay, um, so, how, how's the preparation for the league so far? Well, <clears throat> for the preparations, mm -hmm. at the beginning, uh, before that, I will introduce a bit about the ICT Rex itself. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, ICT SS, we try to uh, make this ICT as, as a branding. Can you tell us what ICTSS is? ICTSS means uh, Information Communication and Technology Student Society. Ah. Yeah, it's a common society among the Kulia. <clears throat> so, 
coming back into the ICT rights. Usually, <coughs> Sports Exco, we annually having this tournament. So for the last time, we had this ICT Red Sports Carnival, but the sports was um, futsal. Mm -hmm. So for this year, we decided to do Ultimate Frisbee instead in conjunction with Ult uh, Ultima Stangs. Ultima Stangs. Yeah, we try to yeah, promote and introduce the games among the IM community. Oh, I see. Oh, so you guys are from the Ultima Stangs too, yes. which means which is the official team for UIA as well. Yes, I, IUM. I always get that wrong. <laughs> usually, when I try to refer to IUM, I usually pronounce it as UIA. But never mind. All right. So speaking of the Ultima Stangs, do you guys uh, have anything to share with us regarding the team previous achievement? A previous achievement? Yes. Uh, so um, last year, in the last semester. Last mm -hmm. semester. Um, uh, we, uh, our achievement was at Pahang. At Pahang. Uh, okay. the, the tournament was Skyflex. Skyflex. Yes, the, mm -hmm. uh, it was Skyflex, and we got uh, second place in Pool B, losing pool. Oh, uh, I see. So, as for this Skyflex thing, right? So, which categories did you guys join? Mix. Which categories? Mix How many categories? categories? Um, mi mixed category. Mixed category. Yes. Only one category? Yeah, only one. How many people were there? Um, for your team? For our team? Um, around 20 or something? Yeah. Around 20. Yeah. So, as for this Sky Flags, what was the level of this <coughs> tournament? Is it a national or just an open? Um, it is a university level. Yes. University but level. only selected universities get to participate in, the pro in this event. Yeah. So, care to tell us uh, about the universities that participated in this sport? Uh, Okay, the well-known university, I mean, the team that is very, uh, the elite team among the university is in UITM Shah Alam. Oh. Also, the, the, the team name is AUR. AUR? Uh, stands for All Ultimate Raw. Oh, I they see. They actually, uh, they are the pioneer in this game. Mm. They brought uh, the games into Malaysia and spread around, like, I see. among the So, they the are the trailblazers. <coughs> yes. So, other than our from UITM Shalom, mm. which teams do you think is the powerhouse for this game? I think Islanders. Mm, Islanders. Islanders. Mm, they. What team is that, and where are they from? Islanders. Islanders from Pulau Pinang. Pulau Pinang. Yeah. What university was that? I'm not sure, but maybe <laughs> UITM. Yes, yes, UITM yes, Pulau Pinang, yes, is it? Yes, sir. Yes, I'm not sure, but because uh, the coach of um, Islander is from uh, is a. So foreigner? Uh, yes, a foreigner. Mm. Uh, so uh, he brought frisbee to uh, um, Penang and he taught them. So that, that's see. why they have a good basic in frisbee. So they have an import yes. coach. Pretty good, which is very, very cool. So what happened during that tournament? <laughs> Can you tell us about that? Well, how, we, how many games did you guys play? Around, because the system of tournament is different. Mm -hmm. It's not league. They're using pooling system, meaning <coughs> uh, first at first they categorize into some groups, mm -hmm. right? And then we got into one group, and then the top tier of the group will go uh, against each other for the. So you have one pool. Yes. One pool. Uh, I mean two. How pool. or two pools? Uh. -uh. Okay. What I mean. <coughs> what decide? I mean. The, 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 <laughs> what is it? <laughs> so, you told us that there are two pools, right? Yes. So, and you told us just now that you were in pool B, which was the losing pool. Yes. So, how did you guys get into the losing pool in the first place? Of course, la, of course you lost. Mm -mm. Sorry. Of course <laughs> you lost. But, before you get into that pool, where were you guys? You get me? Yes. Grouping. Yeah, we did not manage to get among the top tier for the grouping. So we have to face for the uh, pool B. How many teams were there in that pool? Around, uh, in that group? Around eight teams. Around eight. Yeah. So the first four teams get into pool A, yes. is it? Yes. So what And was the other four teams will be yeah. for the pool so A. So where did IUM ranks in that pool? Uh, in that group? In that group, yeah. we, uh, third, third place. What? <laughs> group in that group in that group of eight, 
Welcome back to Friday Night Sports. I'm your host Arif Azizan and just now we talk about their journey to Pera, right? Okay, um, so, but, but I believe we are not done with that topic yet, right? So, uh, we've just got to the part where you guys perform Salah and everything and you guys get to the finals. So, if I may ask, which match was the toughest for you guys? Um, there was a team, Silverback. a Silverback. It okay. was from uh, uh, which university? Um, I know, but it's you from your team. Yeah, I think. Yeah, <laughs> it's from your idea. Yeah, from your team. Um, um, so be- before the f- um, we went to the final uh, mm-hmm. in grouping, mm-hmm. we met with Silverback. 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 Okay. Uh, Silverback is quite an elite team in elite, okay. in Malaysia. Mm-hmm. So um, in first, we we was we were, we was quite scared because um, Silverback is a is a, t- a team that which is uh, well known uh, in. Um, Malaysia and we we was like it's okay we do our best <laughs> and everything that uh, we achieve and you guys pull off an upset yeah uh-huh. I see so what was the score at the end of the game um, we uh, I mean we like we have uh, we played in group we faced Silverback and mm-hmm. also in final also we play against ah, Silverback I see so uh, during the grouping we managed to win. Um, I think like seven, seven to seven to eight. The score line. Uh, the score line is okay. seven eight. The score with a silver. That was that was very close. Eight seven. <coughs> yes. But during eight. during the final, I mean like the final is so intense. Uh, at first we are. Uh, they 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 lead, uh, seven two. <sighs> then yeah. we managed to catch Ooh. up back into but uh, we managed to catch up. Uh, but there is no luck. We lose eight seven. Oh yeah, man! There was a long point between. Uh, there's there's a universal point which is the score is seven seven. I That's see. what we call universal point. And I know it, 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 I think that everyone is tired because we played about fifteen minutes just to get to one score, but no luck. Actually, I was the, the cause. <laughs> <laughs> I was the cause that made. Our yeah. Teams. <laughs> Shame on you. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Um. Wow. It's just not meant to be. It could have been the comeback story of the year, right? Mm-mm. From seven two to eight seven. That's you guys will have to give yourself more credit for that because it's not easy yes. to catch up, especially when you have such a huge score mm-hmm. to catch up with. Okay. Now that we're done with tournaments and stuff and what you guys have done in the past, we want to know. How you guys get to the to the level you are today? So where do where do this Ultima Stang team train? Um, where do you guys usually train? Usually, uh, mm. there are two places that Ultima Stang uh, usually train. First is at Female Sports Complex. Female Hockey Sports Turf. Complex, Hockey Turf. Yes. Oh, you they actually let you guys in there? Uh, yeah. 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 If they don't uh, if they don't use the Hockey Turf, we can um, ask permission. To the co- uh, hockey coach. I yeah. see. And uh, the second place is at uh, rugby field at the back at gate three. Mm-hmm. Uh, we, uh, if we want to pra- um, practice using our boots, so we, n- we practice there. Oh, so you guys wear boots too? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought I thought that these tournaments are usually conducted indoors. They are uh, indoors and also outdoors. Yeah. Outdoors on the too. field. I see. So mm. Skyflex and uh, Perak Bison was both outdoors. Uh, oh, mm-hmm. well, that's something new for us and yeah. the viewers, I believe. Okay, um, so as where was I again? Hmm, hold on. <laughs> Ultima Stangs, Frisbee. So, how many people usually join up for the training session? Um, now in Ultima Stang, there are 30 active players. 30 active yeah. players? Yeah, but uh, last semester, uh, our seniors. I have finished graduate. Um, they have graduated. Graduated, graduated in mm-hmm. IIM. So uh, many of them uh, are not now in IIM. So and uh, how many of you guys are left now? Uh, yeah, how many? Do you rem- um, I think it's about 20, uh, 20, yeah, people, 20, 20 people. Twenty people, something like that's that. That's quite a lot too. We're still looking for new uh, for new. <laughs> Generations. New generations, <laughs> yeah. Legacy. Yeah, legacy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, on a scale of 1 to 10, mm-hmm. how intense do you think your training session is? Well, 
Um, well, well, as for me, I will read it as nine. Nine. Really? Yeah. That's really intense. Yes, yeah, very intense. What about the newcomers? I mean, like, they might be discouraged to join because it was so intense. Well, it is intense, but it is fun also. So the intensity is not. There. <laughs> it's, not, it's not quite there. Okay. It's there, but it's not quite there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I, I feel you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. So, um, we talk about your intensity. We talk about how it might discourage newcomers. Um, usually during training, mm -hmm. which aspect of the game do you guys focus on? Speed, stamina, or maybe power, or, you know, accuracy? Who knows? Um, okay, usually, we try to consider a lot of aspects. Mm-hmm. Okay, and some trainings we taking into account like some agility training, like the speed and stamina of course. Mm -hmm. And some days of training we try to make a scrimmage. So meaning a scrimmage. <coughs> yes, we try to make implement, what, implement we what we learn from the training itself. I see. Uh -uh. Mm. So the thing is, I used to play frisbee too, and I was in Ulti Mustang. Oh. Yes. So, if you guys don't mind, <laughs> do you guys want to show your skills to the viewers out there? Yeah, yeah let's sure. let's give it a try. Right. Let's give it a yeah, throw. Sure, sure. Right, <laughs> right, cool. So, what do we have here? Okay, so this is a frisbee. This. Alright, cool. So you guys usually wear gloves for it. Uh, some players, if their hands um are uh, sweating, uh -huh. so they can use gloves. Like me, I um. I'm sweat. Uh, my hands are always sweat. Sweaty. Uh, sweating. So I need to use gloves. So my, my grip. <coughs> I have a good grip in um, holding this. I see. So can you guys uh, give the viewers a little bit of a tutorial in this? How to throw it properly and everything. Okay. So uh, in Ultimate Frisbee, mm -hmm. we have two kind of throws. Oh. And, and two kind of basic throws. Backhand. Backhand. And I think you know this is backhand, right? Okay. And this is forehand. Ah yeah, this uh, is the one that I have most trouble with. Yeah, this is quite hard for new new uh, newcomers to learn. Ah, yeah. uh, it's like this. Yes, like this. So let's try backhand first. Uh, you mean you can try throw with uh, about ro rolling? Okay. You can use like this. No, I forgot how to throw it. It's okay. You oh, can hold on. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Uh, that's one. Okay, okay. So this is called oh, backhand. <laughs> backhand. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. The catch that you uh, that you try is the pancake. The pancake. Yes. Yeah, it's called a pancake. I only knew the pancake. <laughs> I might forgot about it. Every every other. So can you show us uh, other catching techniques as well? Um, pancake is a basic catching in ultimate frisbee because mm -hmm. it's more secure in, ga in in game. Because if we play outdoor, it is windy, right? So mm -hmm. if we catch one hand, maybe at the prop possibly uh, we might uh, drop it. So. We need to catch it uh, like this, so more secure. In order yeah. to contain the position yes. during the game. I see. So can you guys, can you two like throw it to yourselves? Right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. That would be nice. Let let the real <laughs> pros do it. Not really. Okay. <laughs> yeah. See. So that one's the backhand, and this one is the forehand. Oh. Right. Yeah. Actually, uh, in Ultimate Frisbee, we have many kind of throws. Um, backhand and forehand is is only the basics, but uh, we can but uh, make it various styles yes. of throwing. Uh, yeah, for example, uh. this is hammer. Oh, you throw it like this, hammer. So can you show it? Can you show <laughs> it to oh, us? Um, oh, it's, it's too dangerous. Uh, it's, it's not suitable. Yeah. Okay, boys. I know that you guys are very excited <laughs> with this one. I, I can see the adrenaline pumping, but I'll I'll have to stop you guys here. Uh, uh, we'll be right back after this commercial break. Thank you.
We're now back on Friday Night Sports. Okay, just now we showed you how to play Frisbee. And we even showed you a little bit demo with it. So, these guys are not done with it. They still want to play. So, why don't we give you guys another round of it? We'll see. We will show you how to catch it properly and how to throw it properly. Especially when it comes to the wrist. Because we know how difficult it is if your wrist is not stable enough or strong enough for it. So, okay, let's go. Can you do me the honors? Okay, go. Uh, so uh, I will show you uh, the grip for this first. Uh, so um, for backhand, All right. uh, some players for beginners, they will hold like this. They have, um, this finger, they will hold the rim. Mm -hmm. Some um, players, but for us, they will play uh, for a while. All fingers will... Um, show it to them, show it to them. All fingers will be in the disc. So we have a good grip. So when, when we throw, we can twist the disc. And snap it. Oh, I see. The, why did this wobble? Mm -hmm. Because some of the uh, um, uh, the throwers, <laughs> some of the some of the throwers, um, some of the throwers, they don't have a good grip. When they throw, the disc will wobble like this. So, um, if you want to throw, if you want to have a good, good this smooth, you need to have a good grip and a good snap. So let's see example. It's like you snap a towel. The faster you snap the towel, the the less wobble it, nice. it produces. So ah, I see. see? Yes. So, so it's all toss, yes. it's all in the wrist. Yes, it's all in this. No need to use your whole arm. Yeah. I see. Actually, uh, ultimate frisbee is a push, fusion of all sports. So, in wrist, um, uh, we can uh, relate with badmin badminton. So badminton need uh, to have a good wrist to have a smash. Um, so in frisbee shots, also yeah. need to have a good uh, wrist. So that is toss. I see. Oh, toss. Can you show it again? Uh, let's say Iman is here. Okay. So he uh, he is the opponent. Mm -hmm. And uh, Nabi is uh, with me. My team. Uh, Alright, cool. Okay. So <laughs> the opponent usually uh, the defender. Uh -huh. I mean, the, the opponent has to count it. We call it stall count. I see. So the, the person who hold the disc have around 10 seconds. Like before it throws. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so try. Okay, then, so this is hard to... This is hard, uh, hard to pass the Nabil, mm. so what you can do is just toss above. I see. Around, around, above, above his head, yeah. Do you have under toss as well? Uh, so some players, they, they usually, like, uh, for example, <coughs> like, uh, they are defending and they are, their legs are wide, wide open mm -hmm. and they uh, they are like this. Oh! Yeah, mm. some so players are professional. Dual. That is mm. professional for you. <laughs> you don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> because it's too risky. Yeah, it's too risky. Okay, cool. So you you showed us how to do it with backhand. So what about this forehand? forehand? Okay, forehand. Okay. forehand is usually uh, the most technique which all players are struggle with mm -hmm. because it takes time to master. Yeah, master this technique. So the usual <coughs> for the newcomers, we we teach to hold it like this. This one is to support this. Uh, huh? Yeah, this one. Okay. This finger. And this, uh, it's like a pistol thing. Yeah, pistol. And, yeah, but for us, we usually do it like this huh. for more power. Oh, I see. I see. So this one is the same technique, just snap using uh, using your wrist. Okay. Yeah. Oh. So it's not enough power. Uh, some players they will hold like this. Uh, L letter uh, let, alphabet letter uh, L. Okay. And some players uh, for us we uh, always play. We uh, hold like this. We do the pistol and hold like this. I see. Oh, yes. now I get it. Mm. And and this and uh, two fingers um to support the disc. Support the disc. I yeah. see. Okay. Oh. All right. So, that's a bit. All <laughs> right. Thanks, you guys. All right. We're now back to our seats. Yeah, you guys did have a lot of fun with it. Okay. So, oh, hold on. Uh, give me some time. Ah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So just now we showed to the audience of about this frisbee and how do you usually throw them. Okay. So you guys spoke about your previous tournaments and your struggles of making it to the finals and your struggles of even making it to the tournament itself. Yes. Which brings us to another question. Do you guys have any sponsors? <laughs> um, if so, if so, how do you how do you actually get them? Um, 
for this tournament i mean mm-hmm. <coughs> for this upcoming tournament the event itself it is not as big as the other tournament mm-hmm. so we will not really need a lot of uh, sponsorship mm-hmm. but uh, fortunately we receive a good amount of support from the KICT mm-hmm. especially from the DDSA mm-hmm. in uh, helping us to conduct the the event so and apart from that for the I mean when Ultima stands are uh, usually having tournament outside we it is quite hard compared to other sports like rugby and football they usually have they usually funded for the tournament so like ourselves we are self funded so in it, and it is our initiative mm. to bring the IIUM name among the uh, other universities outside there mm-hmm. so for that tournament it was self funded mm-hmm. but how about the ultima stanks themselves do they have any official sponsors or it is still self funded we're still self funded still self funded <laughs> It's okay yeah. once you guys, you know, manage to establish yourself. Give it another three years or so. Yeah. Yeah, because we are still quite new. Quite new. How, yeah. how old are you guys again? Oh no, not you guys, yeah, but the Ultima Mustangs. Mustangs. How old is the Ultima yeah. Mustang again? Entering 16, 18, 18, three years. Yes, yeah. three years. 2015. I see. Yeah. Yeah. In February. Because when we compare to AUR, the elite team, they started around two, early 2000, like 2010, <laughs> 2011. So that shows how big gap the 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 team is made up yeah it's okay you guys will eventually get to them yeah in one some day. time <laughs> all right um so what is your plan for this year I, aside from you know aside from the ict rex uh, ultimate frisbee league do you guys have any tournaments lined up or any tournaments that you mm-hmm. wish to join mm-hmm. or wants to join or probably have already joined but just you know, waiting for the time. Um, so, our, our upcoming tournament mm-hmm. is in November. November. Uh, 24 November, right? Uh, some, uh, yeah, 24 that's November. That's and the tournament is Nottingham. Nottingham? Yeah, but, but, but not in Nottingham. Oh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 Only in Seven <laughs> The name is Nottingham, but in yeah. Seven What was the university? Nottingham University. Yeah. Nottingham University. Yeah. yeah. It's Nottingham Varsity. Yeah. No, oh, okay. they, they are the organizer mm. for the Nottingham Ultimate. Yeah. Championship, yes. I see. So there's an uh, up, uh, upcoming uh, tournament. So how many semester. how many categories do you guys join for the tournament? We usually send only one category, and that is mixed category. Mixed category again. Yeah. So as for these categories, do they have like any changes when it comes to the number of participants joining for each teams, or is it fixed? You know, like sometimes the number of allowed participants in the team is 10 sometimes for this tournament you have to bring eight people or so right usually or when fixed. it comes to outdoor mm-hmm. the format is different with the indoor mm-hmm. for the outdoor it, the, the player consists in consisted in the game is 7 v7 meaning only mm-hmm. seven players mm-hmm. uh, on the field yes on the field so usually we have around 21 players so we can rotate among the players, each uh, each score point, the the new lineup will come up and subs every each, so we can get rest. I for the, uh, that's why the score point is very long, so you can see the it is very competitive game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see. So can you tell me can you tell me briefly yes. uh, about the differences between outdoors and indoors tournaments? Indoor we usually having five v five. Five v five and. The size of the field is quite, I mean, it use futsal, futsal scaling, okay. yes. Alright folks, Compared that's a less. really useful input we've got there. Okay, we'll be right back after this break. Thank you.
Welcome back to Friday Night Sports. Okay, we talk about how you guys started. We talk about your tournaments, your journey to the tournaments and everything. We even showed you guys how to play the game. So now, what is your hopes for this team, for the Ultima Stangs? What do you guys wish to achieve with this team? Um, for me, mm -hmm. as a new captain for Ultima Stang. New captain. So, yeah. you're, you're a first year, right? Yeah, if I wasn't mistaken. Year, yeah. Oh, long journey. <laughs> long journey. So, I hope um, for Ultima Stang that we can uh, join in an international uh, tournament. International tournament. So that's my hope, and we could give a fight with other team, with other teams from other countries, um, yeah. Singapore and Singapore. So from some Indonesia, uh, perhaps. Indonesia uh. also. Uh, so we want to give a, a good fight to them. So we try to rank IIM Ultima Stang as high as possible yeah. among the top tier teams. Yeah. I see. Uh, so, okay, okay, go on, and, go and on. And also, um, well, we, uh, Team Asian, also want to create a player that that can uh, manage our staff to join in a Malaysian national team. National team. Mm. Perhaps, yeah. yes. Similar to uh, handball teams, right? Yes. They have one player playing for the national team for as well. For the Asian games, yeah. Yeah, I saw one play. player, yes. That's, that's a really huge achievement considering that, yeah. you know, we're not really professional players. And he's still young, yeah. So that's oh, young. I how, mean, how old was this guy again? I think uh, 22 if I'm not mistaken. 22. Yes. Nabil if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> He's an uh, ICOL student. He's an ICOL student. Uh, so what about you? What is your hopes and dream for this team? My... Uh, yeah, I mean specifically for this tournament, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, so my hope is that um, everyone should enjoy this game. I mean, this tournament, it is fun if you haven't tried yet because this is the time where you can participate and feel the, uh, the funness. The yeah, is it? Is it? Uh, no, it's okay. It's <laughs> legit. <laughs> legit. Legit. Yes. The and okay. We can make some new friends because this game is about sportsmanship, and it teaches uh, us a lot about um, many things, such as um, tolerance, how we control our anger if there is any violation. So come and don't forget to sign up for the for the tournament and we see you there. Ooh. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> what is your hopes and dream for this team? Um, I hope that this team, you know, will, like Nabi said, it will give um, a competitive match towards uh, big teams. Mm -hmm. And perhaps, you know, there's a lot of, I, I, I hope that there will be a lot of um, IIUM community that will join ultimate frisbee not only i uh, you know to play in the evening mm -hmm. but also to join the tournament give commitment mm -hmm. uh, so that you know we can we can learn something we can do something which is quite fun that is what i learned in we when try, i joined uh, yeah. we frisbee. try to achieve this competitive environment <coughs> not only in this ultimate frisbee sports uh, we try to uh, make ourselves known in IIUM just like other games like football, yes. rugby so we can get funded for every tournament that we, <laughs> we would like to uh, join or participate in the future I see so serious question <laughs> <laughs> okay with your current level at the moment do you think that you can make it to the national team? <laughs> for now, yeah, I think there's a lot of um, there's a lot of things we need to you know rep uh, consider repair mm -hmm. ourselves. You know we are not professional players, but there's still a lot of a uh, lot to learn. But I hope one day, inshallah, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> this year there will be a um, tryout for national team. national tryouts. So maybe inshallah I will. Me, yeah. I will try and go and so pray, pray for, <laughs> pray for me, pray for pray Nabil. Pray for <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what about you, Alif? What about me? I mean, um, my, <laughs> it's, it's a tough question. It's a tough question. <laughs> yeah, consider my level right now. Mm -hmm. It's still, I, I still have a long journey. I see. Yes, I, I still need to learn a lot from the pros and even from the seniors. So, all this value when when you take into account, so I can 
implement and try to be as um, good as the other national team players. Yes. I see. So on a scale of one to ten, how good do you rate Ultima Stangs? Um, seven. I would say. As a whole, as a whole, yeah, as, as a whole. As, as a whole. <laughs> Um, you on behalf of Ultimate Master. <laughs> uh, I would say, yeah, we did a good job. Seven, eight, I think. Seven or eight. Seven or eight. Yeah, I mean, like compared to uh, other IPTE. Okay, here comes another serious yeah. question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where do you rank us amongst the other universities in Malaysia? Are we in the top ten? Are we in the top twenty? Or perhaps top hundred? Ten, ten. Yeah. Top ten, of course. Top ten. Top ten. Top ten is. Uh, I'm sorry to all the other okay. viewers. <laughs> I mean the uh, ultimate player who watched this, but <coughs> I would say we are uh, we rank among top twenty. I see. And that is that's nothing to be ah, ashamed of. Top that's a good sign also. It's yeah. still a good sign, you know. For for a new team, just three years old, it's fine. Yes. That's, that's a good progress. And well. we need to catch up very fast because there's there are lots of teams uh, getting stronger. The ah. Uh, Getting stronger as well. Hmm. All right. So, can you tell us a brief, you know, a brief history about this frisbee? Oh. Why do you think people play it? And is this the standard size for frisbee, or do you have a larger versions for it? Oh. Uh, that's a standard. Standard size. Standard size. Uh, tournament days. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> no, no, uh, the thing is, we're sometimes we were quite curious about how things are and we also wanted to know if this disc <coughs> is expensive or not because sometimes uh, you know we just want to play it casually uh, in the evening uh, uh, at the decathlon, mm -hmm. they, decathlon. Have a, uh, decathlon. Like decathlon they have a frisbee mm -hmm. like this but uh, it's not uh, as soft as this day, uh, oh, uh, oh yeah i just noticed it's quite soft uh, if we uh, use this uh, ultra Ultra star. Mm -hmm. uh, if we catch it, it uh, will not hurt our hand. The, uh, the um, difference from the this that is much more lighter. Comfortable. Yes. Comfortable. Comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. So how much does this cost? Around 40. 40. You can get it 40 ringgit. 40 ringgit. So where yeah. can you find this? You can search on altiasia.com. What? <laughs> uh, the website link, uh -huh. altiasia.com. Altiasia. Yes. Oh, so it's not available on just normal shops, is it? Uh. It can be fine, uh, found, but it's quite hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite hard. It's yes. Because oh, it's, it is not a uh, well known sport yet. Yet. Yeah. Oh, as for now. Maybe you can find lots of them. Yeah, in Singapore. Singapore. Yeah, I believe. Yes. It's easy to find them. They're, they're so fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> okay. Um, so now, do you guys have anything to say to our beloved viewers at home? Yeah. Okay. So, what, you know, probably. Some of them who watch this show are aspired to join this frisbee or perhaps they are just very very interested to get to know more about this game. So can you, you know, like give them some pep talk about it? Yeah, um, actually me myself, mm -hmm. uh, I've known this frisbee two years ago. Before that, uh, I really have no idea what this game is about. Mm -hmm. So for the newcomers, don't afraid, just come, don't be shy. We just like you. We can be family, yes. Aww. Because this we are family. <coughs> yeah, we are, we we are, are family. family. And mm. we can learn a lot. We can teach you everything about Frisbee. So don't be afraid. Just come um the place. Famous Sport Complex. Yeah. FSC hockey turf and also uh rugby field. Sometimes. Yeah. In the evening from five to seven. We will we will be there. So um uh, do come with your friends. Ask your friend to come also, and don't. If you feel stressed, then this is the time where you can release your stress. So, don't afraid. Just come. All right, folks. It's been nice talking to each and every one of you guys, and I thank you. I thank you for spending <laughs> your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having us. All right. So that's all for today, folks. Thanks for watching. This is Ali Fazizan from Friday Night Sports signing out.